Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the Tusk pannier racks on your BMW 1300 GS. Now, if you did get a premium package with your BMW, some of those come with mounts for panniers already, but these are a serious upgrade. If you're doing more serious adventure riding, you're gonna want these and they're gonna give your subframe protection. They've got this bumper in the back that links both sides together and it's just a really solid setup and it's gonna allow you to run aluminum boxes or the luggage bags as well. So with that being said, they're pretty simple to install. Let's go ahead and get into it. To start out on most machines, you're just gonna to have to remove these two bolts to begin the process, but we have the premium package with the upgraded suspension, but again, we want the better pannier system on here. So we need to remove this pannier system that came with the bike to do that. We're going to pop the seat up. We're going to have to do undo some electrical that's underneath here, as well as unbolt this whole thing. To do this, remove the hardware in the bottom cover. There's an electrical cover as well. Disconnect your electrical connector. There's two bolts in the side. We're going to remove those along with the mount. We're loosening two bolts at the back of the fender. Then we can feed our electrical connector up into the tail underneath that passenger seat. Then we'll do those same steps on the other side. So right here we have our pannier racks, our bumper, our foot peg brackets, and our hardware. If you lay out your hardware, it's going to be easy to compare everything to your instructions and verify that everything's there and it's going to help you stay organized throughout the process. Now if you did have to remove the stock panniers, the Tusk kit does come with new bolts for these bottom mounts. And all of the bolts we're installing today, we're going to apply some blue Loctite to them unless they use a nylock nut. These are the M8 by 25 millimeter button head bolts from the kit. And we'll tighten our back fender mounting bolts as well. Now to install the foot peg bracket, we're gonna remove both bolts from our foot peg. On the right side, you want to loosen up the exhaust mount as well. The bracket's just going to sit in between the foot peg mount and your frame. And you want to make sure that this hole is facing the outside and towards the back of the bike. And I'm going to leave these just a little loose until we have everything loosely mounted up. We'll go back through and tighten all the bolts at the end. Now for the pannier rack, you have this quick release tab that's going to be facing the back of the bike. Then we're going to take the two longest bolts or two of the longest bolts that came in the kit, put them through these top mounting locations. You're going to put a spacer on there. And if you are running the Tusk top rack, you're not going to need both of these spacers. We'll go ahead and thread those into our two mounting holes. We're going to be using a 13 millimeter socket. And just like all the rest of the hardware for this, we're going to leave it loose until we have everything assembled. Now we can take the longer Allen head bolt along with the nylock nut. We're going to go through the lower mount for the rack into that foot peg bracket. And you can see why it was important to leave that loose. We had to pull that up, then that nylock nut on the back side. Then we'll go do all of these same steps on the other side. Now for the bumper, these tabs are going to be facing up. Sit them over the tabs on your pannier racks. Install the four remaining bolts. And install the nylock nuts on the back side. Now we can go back through and tighten down all of the hardware. If you are installing a top rack at the same time, 
We have a separate install video for that. Just keep in mind that the side mounts will take place of the spacers and you want to wait until everything is installed until you tighten down the hardware. So that's how you install the Tusk pannier racks on your BMW 1300 GS. They are compatible with these Tusk top racks as well. So if you're looking for the full setup, this is what you want. All this stuff is available on our website. Just click the link in the description below. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And if you want to see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.